The results in patients with myeloma have dramatically improved. The average survival is now probably 10 to 15 years, but there are still quite a few areas of challenge. One area is patients that have high-risk myeloma, which is defined by various molecular abnormalities like deletion of 17P. Those are people who do respond to our current therapies, but they don't stay in remission for as long, and they tend to progress more quickly and still have a poor survival. So we need new drugs and new therapeutic approaches in that setting. There also are patients I mentioned earlier with relapsed refractory disease, even to all of the drugs that we have now, and those people need help with new drugs. And there also are patients with myeloma who are on the older side and have lots of other medical problems who may not therefore be able to tolerate some of the more aggressive therapies that we have. And they need quite a bit of help with new drugs that are more convenient but retain their activity and have less side effects.